Hi there, welcome to my bedroom, not my kitchen for once. I am going to do a BuzzFeed taste test. So you know those tasty videos that you see? One really, really intrigued me because I've been wanting to make it myself is homemade Oreos. And their homemade Oreos in their video, I'll link the video down below, but their ones looked really good, like real Oreos. So I thought I'd give it a go, see how they turned out and yeah, just generally test it. So I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, give it a like and comment below that you want to see more of these so that I know. Um, if you don't like it, then don't be mean. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's just get on to making the Oreos. I'm halving the recipe for these Oreos because I don't know what they're going to turn out like. So in a bowl I've got 110 grams of butter and half a cup of sugar. So we just want to beat that until it's smooth and fluffy. To that we add an egg and give it a good mix. In this bowl I've got some dark cocoa, also known as Dutch processed cocoa, flour and a little bit of baking soda. So I'm just going to tip this in and give it another good mix. Okay, so that made a little bit of a mess. But the dough seems quite good and stiff. So we have our dough. Now we just need to wrap it in some cling wrap. And I'm just going to place that in the fridge for an hour while that's setting I'm going to make the filling right to make the filling for the Oreos we just need to take some softened butter I'm just going to give it a quick beat just so that it's nice and smooth for when we add icing sugar <laughs> vanilla essence and the all-important icing sugar so I'm going to take a piece of baking paper and unwrap my dough well it looks really dark like an Oreo so fingers crossed and I'm just going to roll this out roll it's very hard so there we have it as you can see it's thin but not crazy thin so it's probably about two or three centimeters thick so then we just want to take a cookie cutter round obviously because of Oreos I don't know what size this is, but really you can do whatever size you like. You just want to make sure that you get an even number. So there is my Oreo. I'm just going to continue stamping them out and then re-roll the dough. And just really continue until all the dough is used. And then we have our Oreos. I just use the same piece of baking paper is what I was rolling them on. If yours start to stick to your rolling pin just use some flour and it'll stop the dough sticking. So I'm just going to put these in the oven and hopefully they don't spread. Here is our cooked Oreos. I'm just going to let those cool completely so that they can get hard and then I can put the icing in the middle and we'll see how they taste. Here are our homemade Oreos and here is our filling. So I'm just going to take a knife and I'm just going to get a little bit of the filling and spread it. And there we have homemade Oreos. They turned out really well. They are a bit softer than normal Oreos. Slightly. They're, they're harder than a normal cookie though. So here it is. Oh, yum, looks so good. So I'm going to give this a go. 
Mm. This is yum. The filling is very similar to an Oreo, but the actual cookie itself is a bit more shortbread-like. So it kind of melts in the mouth a bit more than actually like the crunch. It's also not as, um, I guess, artificially flavoured, <laughs> shall we say, than an Oreo. So it tastes better in the sense that it doesn't taste like factory made. So I actually probably prefer these to Oreos because I don't actually really like Oreos by themselves. I love cookies and cream things, but not Oreos by themselves. Whereas this, I would happily eat a thousand. So, yeah. My cat wants one too, as you tell. Again, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you liked this, please subscribe. Please let me know in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Bye.